welcome back to vlogmas day seven um it is friday december the 6th my mom and i are about to head out to my doctor's appointment um my doctor is all the way across town so we have to leave my house fairly earlier than normal um to get there in time um this is my perionatologist appointment which i am always happy to go to because i get to see baby girl on the ultrasound and that's always fun and yeah, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. See if I can get my mom to get on camera. Should be acting camera shy sometimes. But yeah, all right, check in later. Hi, so we are back from my doctor's appointment. I did not pull you up also because my doctor's office doesn't allow you to do filming in there. And I was trying to sneak, but I couldn't really sneak. So yeah, that was a negative. But I have someone with me. She tried to fix her clothes. Hello. That's my mom. Oh God. We came back from the doctor's appointment. What did you think about the appointment, mom? The appointment was good. That was her first time going to the doctor's with me, mm -hmm. you guys. It was a quick um, appointment with my perionatologist. They're just monitoring my amniotic fluid or whatever. Um, nothing crazy going on. I guess they're just monitoring it. But yeah, so she went to that appointment with me and Miss Charlotte is coming right along. <laughs> <laughs> She's, she's, very, along, she's very active. <laughs> <laughs> coming, you repeat what the doctor said. That's what, what the doctor said. <laughs> she's coming right along. <laughs> the doctor was saying how she's active. You can see he pointed out something I had never noticed. I had always picked up like her, um, her heart beating. Like I could always see that. But he also pointed out like her breathing. And I had never noticed that. But you could kind of see her lungs expanding and contracting and all of that. Which was kind of cool that out. I was like, oh, you're right. She is. So, everything looks good. Um, so, yeah. That's it. Another appointment in two weeks. I'm at that point where I go every two weeks. I think I told you guys that. So, appointment life. But I'm trying to be strategic about my appointments because my mom goes, like I told y'all before I left this morning that the hospital is, you know, but my doctor's office is not close to my house. So, it's a little hike. My mom going to talk about, this is like going out of town. Yes, Yes, yes. I'm like, Lord. Now, mind you, I had already told her this. So, this is not news or anything. It shouldn't have been nothing new to yes. her. And I'm like, I know my. And I had explained to her, normally my appointments are in, like, when I'm at work. And I schedule it to go, like, during lunch. Because it's just easier to, like, hop up there and then get back down. But this one in particular, I couldn't make it that way. And I happened to be off today. So, we had to drive across town. But I told her. she, So she's complaining. She did it several times. I said, see, complainers don't get invited back to the appointments. <laughs> so I guess I won't be getting invited back. Huh? I, was like, I was like, you get me complaining about, you know. Look, it is what it is. We just got to make the best of the situation or whatever. So anyway. But yeah, so we're going to. Now we are going to Walmart because we are both focused on getting the decorations up in the house this weekend. Because we ain't got no Christmas feelings. She told me we ain't got no, no Christmas, Christmas feelings. <laughs> I, I, have, I told her, like, okay, granted, I did have a little minute there where I wasn't Christmas spirit. And I don't think it's that I wasn't in a Christmas spirit. It's that I can't do things the way I would do them. By now, my decorations would have been up. All my decorations would have been up in my house. Tell y'all what I going wanted, on in that Where house. I wanted to be. What you mean? Tell them what's going it's on. It's all about Miss Charlotte. Miss Charlotte. Miss well, yeah, and that's what I said. <laughs> that's 100% what I said. When I'm on my vlog, Miss, when I was saying not in the Christmas spirit, and I said it's because her birth, to me, is overshadowing Christmas. Which, as a mom who is about to give birth soon, I think that's completely natural. Yeah. I ain't apologizing for it. it. So, it's fine. It's so, just one Christmas that I ain't going to be all... Deck down and stuff. So we now got the tree I'm up. Have to take up the decoration part. No, no, because <laughs> first of all, the decorations got to be up to par with what I like. <laughs> you know, you know I me. Mean? She go to me. I got to take over the decorations. And I told her I already have a lot of decorations at my house. It's just getting to those decorations. They're put up in places high up. I can't get on the ladder to get them. Get them down. And then our tree is tall enough where people who and she can't get up on no ladder. Mm -hmm. My tree is called, but like you can't, you know, like I'm not getting on a ladder. She ain't getting on a ladder. So realistically, I am limited to, to what I can do, and my husband doesn't like doing stuff like that. And it's like I gotta keep asking and keep asking. And I only gonna, I'm only gonna ask so many times. 
<laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, we better get it done this week. So, we'll see what we can get done within our limits. Because let me tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not stressing myself out about some Christmas decorations. I'll have that tree sitting up, that tree lit up, and that'll be my decorations for Christmas. <laughs> and I'll put my stuff out on my front porch, which is easy because I can get to that. But that, that'll be my decorations. I ain't about to be stressing myself out talking about some looking for some christmas decorate put some christmas decorations out that ain't what i'm about to do when there'll be plenty of more christmases that i can decorate for <laughs> this is just one so that's my take on it that is it so yeah we're going to walmart because she's talking about some garland put some garland around a pole yes which is not really my style so we got i got to see what kind of garland she's talking about with a bow um because i already have stuff that i put outside so like i told her if the bow matches like what i already have and we can go with it but i'm not gonna put like a bow that don't match my outside decor already so we'll see what we can find from walmart um so yeah so we'll bring you guys along for that i'm probably gonna stop at smoothie king i feel like i want a smoothie that sounds good um, get a smoothie from smoothie king this is right there by the walmart um and yeah, I know Walmart has inexpensive garland, but like I told her, I was like, don't get your hopes up high. Because I remember that one year I was looking for garland for my banister, and I went to Walmart, and they were sold out. That's right. Because I everybody, yes. mm -hmm, yeah, for the public. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. That's because everybody knows that Walmart garland is good, and it's, you know, at a reasonable price, so that's where people go. So we'll see what we're able to find. I didn't see that CBS right there. If I would have seen that CBS, I would mm -hmm. Yeah. She's talking about like the areas around our house. She's trying to learn her way around. Okay, y'all, we made it to Walmart. Um, I am looking for ingredients for the spinach and artichoke chicken thigh dish I'm going to make tonight for dinner. My mom has gone off to look for the garland. That's her mission. And we're gonna reconvene when we reconvene. Um, but I don't really know this Walmart. Are you guys like this? I don't like to go into stores that I don't know the layout of. Because I feel like it takes me longer to shop. <laughs> like I'm like one of the people that I always go to like my same stores. Because I know I can be in and out. I know where everything is. I know what aisles I need to get stuff from. I don't know the store. So it's throwing me off. Like little things like stuff I need to get out of produce. I don't know where they keep their stuff. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Wandering around the store. Hey y'all, so we're back at the house. Um, I'm going to do a quick grocery haul for you guys. I tried to do it while I was in the store, but I don't think I ended up getting the best footage because I couldn't figure out how to mount my camera to the shopping cart. It was a whole issue. But um, I'm going to do a quick shopping haul of some of the stuff I got from the store today. Mainly everything I got is for dinner tonight. Um, I did re-up on like my normal, so normal things we try to keep in the house. But most of what I got is for dinner tonight. And I got some snacky food. So in that ram, first thing I picked up were these. I, I've never had these. It looks like the Pepper, the Pepper Ridge Farm Ginger Man Sweet. I don't know. Hopefully it's good. So I got those. Then I got spinach. I got some butter because the recipe tonight calls with butter. And I think we have some in the fridge, but I didn't know if we had enough. Um, I got some cream cheese also for the recipe tonight. Then I got a bunch of fresh herbs, which is which makes me excited about the recipe because it has like a lot of fresh ingredients. And I'm kind of in the mood for just something like wholesome and like fresh. I've been eating out a lot lately, so I'm trying to like wrinkle that in, but it's just been hard. But I got some fresh thyme, fresh Italian parsley, fresh rosemary, and fresh dill. I actually love dill, so I was excited when I saw that dill was in this recipe. So then I got two lemons, because the recipe calls for that as well, and some green onion. Next up I got, which I see that I didn't really need because we have some. I don't know why I always do this. <sighs> but I got garlic. <laughs> and I don't, and we don't even need any because I have it here already. Um, then I got some little red potatoes because the recipe is like a keto friendly recipe. But I just need a starch. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes with these. Then I got some bananas. 
which is just like a re-up because we were out. I like, like, that's like my favorite fruit to snack on. Bananas and apples. I try to always keep those in my house. Some Parmesan cheese. Artichoke, because like I, dish, like I said, the dish is a chicken thigh, spinach, and artichoke dish. Um, I got some salsa. And I also got some chips back here to go with the salsa. This is because... I'm in a snacky mood, so I picked up snacks. I got some apple juice, just so we have some else to drink. Chicken stock, also part of the recipe. Heavy whipping cream, part of the recipe. And then the last thing I got is this Chex Mix that is so good. My mom brought some earlier this week because Publix had them buy one, get one free. It's the turtle Chex Mix. I like to pick out just the just the um caramel covered check pieces but they're so good so i brought a, a family size bag of that and then i got some the chicken thighs the main ingredient and that's it that's it we went to walmart like i said i don't normally shop at walmart i don't normally shop at that walmart either so it was just a little hard maneuvering around the store i wanted to bring you guys along but because i was lost i was like i'm gonna be here all day if i try to talk to them and pick up what i need so i figured i'll give you a shopping haul hopefully that suffice <laughs> all right bye. Hey so i'm coming back it is now like the evening time i think it's about eight o'clock um now and i have finished cooking this is how the spinach dish came out and then I made mashed potatoes to go with it. The funny thing about it is <laughs> that spinach dish is supposed to be like a low carb, keto friendly. But then I put that little like heavy starch on the side of it. It's fine. We're not doing keto over here. But I wanted to come out, come on and close out the vlog for tonight because I'm about to wind down and edit the vlog for vlogmas day six because I haven't even edited that vlog yet. I was just too tired last night. And so then I can start editing that one we'll edit that one get it up and then start editing this one hopefully or maybe too ambitious but yeah so i am signing off for tonight i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today with my mom and i <laughs> gave y'all a sneak peek of our relationship um but yeah please don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell all your friends and family about my channel bye